welcome to one more reaction video. So the second day of the first rehearsals have now completed and we will be reacting to the recent countries that they are Israel, the second one is Romania, Romania Azerbaijan, Ukraine, Ukraine and Malta. <laughs> well, hard to remember, no? Uh, so let's start with uh, Israel. So she's seemingly very uncomfortable on a stage, but it's definitely room to improve, and you know that she's gonna do well. She's very strong vocally. She's on a stage with five more dancers. She really used very well the main stage. She used the same uh, neon light colors as Croatia. It's a very similar performance. I just felt like the dancers having a different party and Eden is not there yet. So I hope she got the things right and especially when they reveal she got the outfit reveal that it's something is not working there. So probably they should uh, leave that part and carry on with um, without this uh, outfit revealing. But after she got a very good dress, she looks very good. So what do you have to say? I don't know, I disagree that she was uncomfortable on stage. Mm -hmm. I always most think she was too comfortable in terms of comparing this to Croatia, which has the same colour schemes, etc. This the Israeli performance is almost clinical, whereas Croatia's feels more raw and mm. less over rehearsed. I don't know which is going to appeal more to the public. Maybe the juries will err on the side of Israel, whereas the public will go for Croatia. But I think that both borderline, especially because they are they do use such similar mm. colour schemes. Me personally, I think I prefer Israel. I think. I connect more with the song and vocally she can't, we can't even compare Adin with Aldina, so I think she, she got a plus there. Okay, so the second country is Romania. It is Romania, yes. So, this was one of my favourites. Now, a lot of press were yeah. unsure about her vocals, I thought they were quite fine. Yes, she has a lot to do in this performance. It is a recreation of the music video, so there's a lot of moving around. She yeah. uses a head mic, or a Britney mic as they call it. <laughs> um, and yeah, towards the end, after she's run from one stage to the other, she's a bit out of breath. I'm sure that's something that can be practiced over the coming days. But this is one of the best staging concepts there is. And yeah, I, I, unlike most of the press, I still think this is a certain qualifier. She was definitely able to tell in this story what Norway couldn't do it. I'm really concerned about her vocals. There is something that I know that she can sing, but it was something off. Uh, maybe too much movement on a stage. She she didn't sound good at all. But I really like the, the staging. Feels like they really try to recreate the music video and it works very well, it was very impressive, it was very beautiful, just the lack of vocals just um, didn't go quite right, but I love the song and I hope she, she does well then. So the next one was... Uh, Azerbaijan. I can't get the, the countries right today. Uh, for me this was pleasant. It was good. I can go first. What I really enjoy it. I can see people really liking this song. <laughs> the only thing, she's not a dancer. I don't feel like she's the most strong vocalist as well. She really uses the backing vocals almost all the way through the, the song. But the hook and the, the beats is so good, I think it's so captivating that people will be interested to see all the performance and they will remember. I really like the, um, the LEDs, transmit me like I'm in Middle East, so give me that kind of vibe. It does, the stage looks quite cheap for Azerbaijan, but yeah, so... But the problem is that there's no journey through the performance. The LEDs don't really change, they always have mm. this... They begin with the ancient Rome slash Egypt yeah. type thing and then after okay. that 
the rest of the colour scheme, I can't remember, can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it's the same all the way through, you get a bit of fire. Yeah, you got the fire. So there's no real development in the performance. Even during that end bit where it goes all frantic, they could have done some more with it. Yeah, but it's enjoyable, so I feel like at least people will vote for this. The jury's, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if she, she come last with the juries. But I feel like the televote will really put this uh, country high. So the fourth country is Ukraine. So, so far was the best performance that I've watched from this first semi. Everything went well with this country. They were just spot on. She was really good with her vocals. The stage is so good. They put with two dancers with the uh, rings. They were so good as well, they are so captivating. The LEDs are really good as well. Almost at the end of the song, we can see these humans and they running. It's, it gives the, the vibe of some in futurist things, so I really enjoy it. Ukraine is a my cup of tea, um, mm. but I think they've done a really good job with the staging and it's gone from a borderline qualifier to quite yeah. a likely yeah. qualifier. Um, it's not the best rehearsal of the semi for me. I prefer Cyprus and I prefer Malta, okay. which we'll talk about in a second. But cons considering that it is quite an inaccessible song, I think the staging makes it interesting to people who aren't necessarily into this type of music. And yeah, overall it was, it was definitely one of the better rehearsals of the semi. So and last but not least, Malta. So go for it. I think the, best the thing that I'm most pleased is that they've made it a youthful performance. They could have easily dressed up Destiny as like a 30 year old diva, mm. whereas they've gone for lots of bright colours. It's very similar to the, the colour scheme to what we saw with Comedian in 2019. Lots of bold, plain, bright colours, which contrast with Destiny's pink outfit on the stage. The vocals are of course are amazing, she does some extra ad-libs at the end as well. She's definitely a very great performer and a very, very good vocalist as well. I'm not convinced about her outfit, I would prefer to see her with the outfit from the music video. Yeah, I enjoy it. She has like it. five outfits in the music video. Yeah, but <laughs> that kind of outfit that she's wearing, all pink, I found the outfit a little bit bland. And especially with the LEDs in the back, all in the same color, they just changing between pink, yellow, and then other colors. I just found like not is a good performer. I was just have so high expectations that I was expecting a little bit more. But it's good. It's definitely for me not a winning performer. It's good. But I feel like she is a little bit uncomfortable on the stairs. She always go and look at the stairs. She was lost a little bit, few seconds to look at the stairs to don't fall. She got a, she got a, her moves. It's more energetic choreography than Azerbaijan has. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. It's a different song. We can't expect. Well, I think I say I've been in the press centre on site in 2018 and 2019, and when Netta and Duncan, who were the pre-contest favourites, both rehearsed. Mm -hmm. The majority of the press were underwhelmed and they changed their minds okay. to say it's not a winner but of course in the end okay. they did because everyone has such high expectations for the favorites that nothing except 100 percent outstanding mm. is going to please people so it's I, no doubt. I, I, I wouldn't i wouldn't rule it out yet. yeah it's no doubt that she will almost 100 percent sure she will win this semi she's the, the last act so she will probably win this semi I'm just not sure I don't get these winning vibes. So definitely the jury would put like first or second. But the televotes, Malt is not very good with the televotes. I don't know, we will have to wait and see, but it's a very good performer. So after all these five countries, the rest five countries, do you think that any of the country increased their chances to qualify? Well, yeah, Ukraine has definitely increased their mm. chances because I had them just missing out before this, but now I think they're fairly yeah, comfortably sure. in. And yeah, the, and uh, the opposite way to decrease the their chances to qualify with Israel. I, don't, I think Croatia and Israel are both doing themselves mm. a disservice because their color schemes are so, so similar. similar. Yeah, and I think they could cancel each other out, and they could both miss both. out. Mm. I could even see Azerbaijan missing out. 
I feel like Azerbaijan no, we wouldn't. I, I feel like nine tenth place. I feel like Cyprus is the most standout of the female up tempos, yeah. but then its disadvantage is it's on earliest. Yeah, on first half. So it's really so. hard to predict which of these female up tempos is going to th go mm. through. What about Romania? I, 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 I still think it's certain qualifier. Yeah, mm. I even think, I wish, I even I think it's more certain than Ukraine. Mm. If doesn't get these vocals right, uh, I think she will struggle. But I love the song. For me, it's like if she miss she misses the final, it will be like uh, gonna miss something there. But yeah, I feel like they want to increase the chances. Definitely Ukraine. They are in the final with no doubts. Decrease. I think Israel. I enjoy it, but I'm not convinced. And I especially she even hit the the whistle notes without. And unlike Cyprus, Croatia, and I don't know if Destiny even had a backing vocalist as well, I'm not sure, but they all have an off-stage back vocalist mm. to help with the live melody, Israel. whereas Israel, yeah. she's complete on her own because mm. all of her other people are on stage dancing. We'll give her some boot with the jury, yeah, so I feel we will have to wait and see. It's very interesting, Sammy, it's, everything is open, so guys, thank you very much for watching and see ya.